It's William here, the Bangkok voice coach, and today we're going to look at soprano Patrizia Janetskova singing Alleluia from the motet Exultate Jubilate, written by Mozart when he was just 16 years old. And in fact, it was written for a famous Italian castrato, Venanzio Razzini. And Mozart was in Milan at the time, preparing for the premiere of his opera Lucio Silla. And it is performed here at the Church of St. Adalbert in Opava on the 27th of July 2020. And this was to celebrate the inauguration of the newly renovated organ played here by Peter Jetsch. And it is a very simplistic piece of music, and you can tell in a way that it was written by a, a boy genius of 16, because it's almost formulaic in the way that it's constructed. It's showy, it's virtuosic, but it's not particularly adventurous, but it is very beautiful, and it so suits Petrizia's voice to perfection. She really had got this clear, light lyric soprano voice, which was also a coloratura, but she handled it so well that you knew it was this voice that was going to grow and grow and become a bigger lyric voice. And that is exactly what young opera singers should do. They should choose the right repertoire at the beginning of their career because bigger roles come with bigger orchestras. So here is Patrizia singing this coloratura so perfectly. She had wonderful, wonderful ability to sing coloratura with accuracy and also with articulation. And she used the articulation in her throat, which some people say it should come from the diaphragm, but no, this is exactly how you articulate this music, especially with this kind of voice. She also has beautifully matched vowels, and it's something that I'm always noticing when I see her singing, that the E's and the A's and the R's and the O's, they're all the same. Now, this is the key to so much of singing. It's the key to having a great legato line, having great coloratura, having an extended range, having focus so your voice projects. It is vitally important. And it is something that some people struggle terribly, terribly, terribly with. But I think Patrizia might just have been born with it. But she also worked hard because the key to success is not just genetic inheritance, it's also hard work.
clear that she loves, I can't believe I'm talking in the past tense, but it's so clear that she loved to sing. You can see it radiating out of her, through her eyes, through her face. She has absolute, this wonderful respect and love for the music she's singing. And she also loves the feeling of singing because singing is a very visceral feeling. It unites the body and the spirit and the mind and brings the emotions right there to the fore and makes you be in the present moment. You have no choice. You have to get on with this thing that requires a huge amount of physical activity and mental concentration. And that's what I love about her so much is that she very much embodies good, excellent, great singing and such a terrible loss that she could not grow into that lyric soprano that she was destined to be. It's William here, the Bangkok voice coach. Thanks for watching and see you soon.